My name is Barney and I'm the Horticultural Educator here at Wisley Garden. Today we're going to learn a bit about soil types so that you can learn to get the best from your garden. In this video I will be advising you on how to identify your soil type. With very few exceptions, such as epiphytes, nearly all plants require soil. From the soil they will get water, nutrients, oxygen for their roots and anchorage into the soil. In order to identify your soil type, we need to identify its texture, which is the proportions of sand, silt and clay in the soil, its structure, how those particles interlock within the soil, the organic matter content, the pH, how acid or alkaline it is, which will all influence the nutrient content. The arrangement of particles in the soil, the soil structure, provide the characteristics for the root environment. Ideally, you want your soil to be half solids, particles, and half spaces between particles, so there's enough air and water for the roots to grow healthily. The particles that make up your soil consist of clay, sand, and silt, and a dominating soil particle will characterize your soil type. Clay particles are the smallest. Clay soils are moisture attentive and rich in nutrients. However, they tend to be poorly drained, they compact easily, and when dry, they shrink. When wetted again, they swell. Sandy soils, unlike clay, are very freely drained. They're easy to cultivate and they warm up quickly in the spring. However, they tend to dry out in the summer and they're very poor at holding on to nutrients. Silty soils are generally fertile, moisture retentive yet freely draining. However, they do compact easily and they're prone to water and wind erosion. If your soil is a mixture of sand, silt and clay, you'll have a loam. Loam soils combine the best of each of the soil particle qualities and are generally very good for plant growth. You may also have a chalky soil. These are always alkaline, they tend to be very thin, freely draining, and quite difficult to work with. Now we've learned about the different characteristics of soil types, it's time to take a pH test. pH testing is very important because it will tell you about the nutrient availability in your soil. These kits are available from garden centres or you can purchase them online and they allow you to do multiple tests. They come with a universal indicator, the pH test solution, a pot of barium sulphate which will help your clay particles to settle and a testing pot. Comes with a little spoon and you just need a couple of scoops of your soil sample. It's very important to take your soil sample from at least 10 centimetres depth. You only need one scoop of barium sulphate. Top up your testing pot with the universal indicator and give it a good shake and you will need to leave it for a few minutes to settle. After a few minutes, come back to check your sample and you will see there's a layer of coloured liquid above the soil solids. This you can compare to a pH chart that comes with your kit and this one is, I would say, somewhere between 7 and 7.5, just slightly alkaline. This is very important because you'll find in the test kit advice on which plants grow at which pH and because it's slightly alkaline, I know that ericaceous plants, which means acid-loving plants, will not do well on this soil. So already I'm going to start selecting suitable plants for my garden. As well as a soil pH test, it is essential to undertake a texture test so you can identify which soil type you have. I'm going to do a soil texture test on a clay soil to find out just how much clay it contains. First part, take a walnut-sized piece of soil and moisten. And get it really nice and wet so the texture test is accurate. Can the soil easily be rolled into a ball? Yes, very easy. Will it roll into a cylinder approximately 15 millimeters in diameter? Yes, most definitely. Will it roll into a cylinder approximately six millimeters in diameter? Most definitely will. Will the cylinder bend into a horseshoe shape without cracking? Yes. Will it form a ring without cracking? Yes. Does it feel gritty? It does. I can feel sand grains between my fingers, which means that it is a sandy clay. It might surprise you, your clay may, may not be quite as clayish as you expect. Once you've identified your soil texture type and its pH, you can look up which plants are suitable for your garden. If you want more information on soil pH testing and soil texture testing, have a look on the RHS website.